All right, this is what I'm talking about. Something with some fractions, something we hate to do, don't want to do it, always get confused. I love these types of problems. I used to hate them just like you, but now when I look at them, I'm like, yes, some fractions. In it. So first of all, let's go and do the vertex because that's the basics, um, the basic information that we don't really need too much math really uh, to get with that, especially with the fractions. So here's the vertex form of a quadratic, and we understand that the vertex is hk. So therefore, in the format, it's x opposite of h and then k. So therefore, I need to take the opposite of 9 halves. So in this case, my vertex, uh, let me write it down here. So here, my vertex is going to be negative 9 halves, as that's the opposite of 9 halves, and then comma, 1 fourth. All right, so that's my vertex. Very simple, not as much math to do. The right thing that students get tricked up is with the x opposite of hk. Um, and just, you know, another way I think of it is x minus h, right? Well, what is h? H is, um, h is going to be, if you were to write this as x minus a negative, is the same thing as positive. So if you just cover that up, x minus h, x minus h, so it's negative 9 halves. Just another way to think about it. So now let's get into the fun part. Let's go ahead and find the solutions of this quadratic. So to do that, I need to set my y um, value equal to 0, because I'm going to try to find the values of where my graph is going to cross the x-intercept. So therefore, the y value is equal to 0 at those points. So now I need to figure out what are the x-coordinates, though, when y equals 0. And to do that, I'm going to, let's actually save some space. And let's just put a 0 there. All right, so now to solve for x, I need to use my inverse operations. A lot of times we call it the square root. Um, and also introduce the square root method. So to do that, I first need to undo everything that's happening to my square. <sighs> so I subtract 1 fourth on both sides. So if I have negative 1 fourth equals negative 2 times x plus 9 halves squared. Now I need to undo, divide, multiply by negative 2. So I divide by negative 2 on both sides. And let's go ahead and do this fun stuff over here. So if I have negative 1 fourth divided by negative 2, a lot of times what I like to do is just multiply by the reciprocal. That's really 2 over 1, right? So to multiply by the reciprocal would be uh, 1 half. One half. That multiplies to positive 1. This becomes a positive 1 eighth. So now this reduces down to 1 eighth equals x plus 9 halves squared. Now I need to undo the squaring function, which is going to be to take the square root. So now I introduce the square root of both sides. And remember, when you introduce the square root of a fraction, you can take the square root of the top and the bottom. So that's square root of 1 over the square root of 8. Square root of 1 is just equal to 1. Square root of 8, we can rewrite as the square root of 4 times 2, which is equivalent to 1 over 2 square root of 2, as I took the square root of 4 out of the square root, because the square root of 4 is 2. OK, the other thing to remember is when you introduce the square root, you got to have to make sure you include the positive and the negative value of that. So therefore, I really have plus or minus 1 over 2 square root of 2 is equal to x plus 9 halves. I don't need these parentheses anymore because I undid the square root. Now, I just need to solve for x. So I'll subtract the 9 halves on both sides. And therefore, x equals a negative 9 halves. <sighs> x equals a negative 9 halves plus or minus 1 over 2 square root of 2. <laughs> that looks like fun. Um, you could separate those, put those in a, a set formation. I'm just going to leave them at that because I know this problem was already kind of long enough. But therefore, you'd have two, um, two exact solutions for this problem. Thanks.